Okay, soft boy time. Ah. Stress. <laughs> but you make it feel better. <laughs> That's all. <sighs> you know, I. Oh man. <laughs> you guys are dorks. Very much dorks. Don't cry. <laughs> we just thank you. Ah, it feels like awards be like the world is being born, you know, like the one I imagined. Ah, oh, God, it's killing me, dude. Oh, I should be the one sobbing. <laughs> ah. Okay. It's only been seven months. Wow, look at you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, dude. And... I don't, I don't, I don't think I'd be where I am without the people around me right now. Huh. You know, <clears throat> I'll share something with you guys. Ever since I transitioned to working a lot, you know, people end up just being really, you know, sad I'm not around. But, uh, you know, I, I, it, it's more of how my process of thinking is. You know, I think people deserve to... Believe in what a friendship is, and everything else like that. And I'm not talking about specific people, no one in this, uh, you know, stream. But uh, with my previous experiences, like months ago, actually, more of months ago, ah, uh, people tend to think I've changed. You know, like uh, I'll I'll work to the bone, but because I don't message within the week or two, they think that I've not cared anymore. And it sucks, you know? I can't stop them from feeling that way. People overthink. I do too. But... I, th I think it's just the worst part is, uh... When people think you've changed or that you don't care anymore. I don't think it should be described by actions. You know? But... I, I still care about them. And whether or not they do talk to me anymore. It was, it was just more of just like, I wish they understood. And it's a passion of mine. I, I never really had support when I first started streaming. Uh, but I did have one person and a few other people in my old uh, streaming days. Rima was there. And they were really kind enough to stick around and, 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 and cheer for me. Um, As well as just like, you know, like, even after that, like... It kind of, you know, the negatives always outweigh the, the, the bad. Because, you know, having people around you, the people that you talk to every day, telling you about how I, sh I shouldn't stream or that, you know, I never got encouraging words. It's just fine. You know, I understood where they were, they were coming from, but in, in the inside, I, I didn't speak how I felt because um, I didn't know how to, like, communicate those feelings. Uh, even my own parents, you know, I, uh, I were like, ah, you're, you know, you should do something more and you'd quit by the time of like next month. Um, it was, it was, it was something to deal with. Um, but it, it is a serious thing when I tell you, like, uh, it, it, it is a journey and like, I haven't changed, you know, I, I like my mindset is, is like, you shouldn't have to be reminded that you're loved. But I know with, uh, with friendships and stuff, you know, I'm, I'm quite different. The thing is, is I think one-sided friendships, like people experience with me, I, I, I don't want them trying so hard and desperate for our friendship. I know that must sound really weird, but it's more of I'll love them no matter what day we meet and how long it's been. But that's really hard to understand for some people, you know? So I, I tried expressing this idea, but they... Took it as like, you know, oh, he doesn't want to try. Ah, uh, but you know, it's because I was quite different when it comes to making friends. Some people don't do what I do, you know, like a zero way friendship. What is that? If there's no definition, it means that I don't want any of us to try for my friendship, but just know that like, say something terrible and serious was going on. I'm going to be there, you know, but for the time being, I'm progressing forward and trying to reach something. And it's a really shaky road, especially with what I'm doing right now. 
It's very shaky. Like, uh... Like, uh, if I'll make it. You know? It's always the question in mind. Um... But over the course, like, everyone around me recently, Rima, Cassie, Josie, you guys, on Twitter, in Discord, I see you guys hanging out in there. Everyone else, like, I, I felt better because of you guys being here. And of course, like, of course I stress. You know, but the thing is, like, stressing about work and everything or stream, like, I don't think of this as work. I actually, like, stress for good reasons. Like, I stress whenever something's not gonna go right, but, you know, I'm happy. Ah, uh, but dealing with, like, you know, people while dealing with this, you know, kind of stops me in place and makes me work less hard and I become less passionate and more tired and exhausted. Ah. Uh, but it, it's, it's more of just that, really. <laughs> Buenas noches. Cuidate. But yeah. Just like, um, I, that's, that's what I've been dealing with. But, uh, there are people that I just want to keep around. And I stick to the people who stick around. It's been something, man. Hmm. Not in the case, you know, uh, I know a lot of people here probably have ADHD. It's a very common thing. But not everyone experiences it the same. Mine's, like, bad enough to make me angry. Like, for example, I'll, like, sit there on my screen and stare for 20 minutes for no reason. That's not exaggerated. I'll stare at my, like, monitor. And then I'll get angry because I'm like, I could have spent that time and I get angry at myself because I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, and I know you guys worry about my, uh, me. I know a lot of people ask if I'm okay in chat. I'm alright. You know, uh, the thing is, I like to leave my problems out of streams. Not because I uh, like want anything else. And also, thank you, by the way. Hopefully you enjoy it. But it was more of just like... I know you guys make me happy, but there's a way of thing uh, or how I do things, you know? A lot of people really make me happy, but I don't feel comfortable enough to be that open about my problems. So I know you guys, like, want to help or, you know, think you can do better, but no, you guys are doing perfectly fine. It's just, it's more of like how I work, you know? I, I can't just force myself to accept people to help me, but I'm okay. You know, besides like the small issues that I've had with uh, human beings, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm very busy. People miss me. I understand. Because their feelings are coming from feeling like I don't care. Which I wish they understood I, I did. You know? But that's fine. You know, if they end up leaving, it's fine. I just like, you know, I never stopped caring. Um, But yeah, you guys have like proven to me like several times that I shouldn't be such a fucking downer. I'm always in my head thinking like what if this doesn't go well or if things will fail you know i'm the i'm the cocky person because i am <laughs> i like acting this way and it, it is kind of me but you know sometimes a tiny slip of doubt just goes into the head i'm just like i really hope it goes well you know and so you prove me wrong each day i'm a hypocrite because you know i tell people not to worry and just to keep on pushing and the thing is as i do I just have, I have some stumbles, and I have to get uh, up from those, uh, those stumbles. Uh, so it, it's been like a journey just to like, you know, be the person to give you guys advice, but it's just like, you know, you're gonna have problems. And not, I'm not gonna be here to encourage you or be there through your problems. But no matter what, when you are pursuing a path, there will always be rocks, even mountains, doors, people. And that is more of a test for you. Will you keep on going whether or not these things are going on? But I just want to say thank you for like everything, literally. You know, I know a lot of VTubers, some friends, some I just see on Twitter who just really feel out of it and feel like they can't do it anymore. It's tough. For some, this is a hobby. And for some, this is a dream. And people who do this for a dream Sometimes dreams are not reachable, and that's the most worrying part, which is fine. But the thing is, is you you have to you have to keep on going, because if you don't, then you know why you failed. If you're gonna fail, make sure you fail when you gave it your all, because then you can't blame yourself for what happened. 
Because I think one of the worst things when it comes to situations is after a very bad, uh, let's say, argument or a very bad place or a very bad thing happened, the worst thing to do right after is to blame yourself. Because right after that, that can really, really, really hurt yourself. You know, sometimes I do blame myself for whatever goes wrong. But sometimes I just need a quick talk to or that I just, you know, tell myself, shut up. You can't be this person that speaks so fucking highly and tell people to keep on going when you're about to give up now. And I think you, uh, you know, this is a quote I usually say, but I take better care of myself because of you. And I know that if I give up, that means everyone else will, uh, you know, take my advice with a grain of salt. And so I have to prove it to you guys, you know? But yeah. That's all. I want to say that. Because I'm thankful. <laughs> really, really thankful. Yeah, let's listen to music now. <laughs> <laughs> 